students welcome to today's EBS class today we will be learning the lesson I am growing up in this lesson we will be learning about living things how living things grow hobbies and some common hobbies in our day-to-day -day life we see different and many things around us like birds water air animals human beings and many more other things all these things are divided into two categories. One is living things and the other is non-living things. Now, first let us know what are living things. Living things can be human beings, animals, Birds, plants, and what are non living things? There are a number of non living things, but for let us take few which we see in our day to day life, like television, which is also as TV, phone. Pencil, pen, eraser, book and so on. So how do we differentiate what are living things and what are non-living things? There are few characteristics which can easily differentiate between these two things. Living things move on their own. Living things grow. Living things breathe in and breathe out. Living things eat and drink. Living things reproduce. And let us see non living things. Non living things they do not move on their own, they cannot grow, nor can they breathe nor they can eat or drink, nor can they reproduce. So, they cannot do any of these. Now, here, living things move like birds fly, Animal and human beings, we walk or move from one place to another. Grow. Animals and birds and human beings, we grow from being a newborn to an adult. The same way, animals also grow into different stages. Even birds grow into different stages. Breathe. We breathe in air and we breathe out air that is we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide we can eat and we can also drink living things give birth to their own kind i hope you all have understood the difference between living things and non-living things and what are the characteristics of living things in our next class we will be learning how living things grow